Our mission is to become the global leader in advanced visualization and to provide our shareholders, customers, and employees with a high-quality, integrity-driven corporation. State-of-the-art technologies, innovative business strategies, behind the scenes, insights from cutting-edge users around the globe on World Business Review with Alexander Haig. Welcome to World Business Review. I'm Alexander Haig. Holographic imaging is a high-resolution surveillance, screening, and detection tool that is now helping Homeland Security and the Department of Defense secure America's borders and reduce security risks. Here for this important discussion is Jim Fishbach, President and CEO of Intrepid Global Imaging, 3D. Welcome, Jim. We're delighted to have you. Thank you, Al. Now, also joining us for this segment is our old friend John Ilgen. John, it's great to have you back. It's great to be here and working with you again, Al. Good. Now, John, military and government agencies face a multitude of security risks. Why is holography so critical to their protection? Holography is going to help us in the war on terror, and it's going to help us in the field in the battlefield. The reason is that it's 3D and it's going to, in my view, replace the 2D processes of the past. Very good. Now, Jim, how does Intrepid help federal agencies reduce these security risks? Border Patrol primarily is a, a good example where we can get a three-dimensional image of the individual trying to cross the border uh, be, almost being able to detect the, the weapon that they're carrying, and more importantly, the facial recognition. The technology helps us segregate the good guys from the bad guys, fundamentally. Very good. What makes holographic imaging so unique today? The capability of taking 2D information and turning it into 3D information, number one. And number two, being able to take multiple streams of data from different sources, for example, like a UAV, and being able to turn that into 3D live information. Now, how has your customer base reacted to your technology? Slowly, and I mm -hmm. think, or deliberately. Uh, whenever you introduce a whole new breakthrough yeah. technology, it really is met with a lot of resistance. However, once somebody sits in front of it and sees the value of, of spatial information and absolute true depth, uh, they quickly begin to change their, their attitude mm -hmm. toward holography. And holography in real time is by far the highest resolution technology known mm -hmm. to man. You know, all of the innovation like this requires the modification of all the ancillary or supporting techniques and equipments, et cetera, does it not? Absolutely, and that's kind of what taken a, has taken us so long is because we've had to pace our technology on computer processing, on graphics, mm -hmm. on projectors, mm -hmm. image sources. It's, it's been a struggle, or it's been a challenge, I should say. Good. Now, John, how can Life Vision help secure America's borders? Life Vision the product of Intrepids, has potential to identify and detect crossings at the borders, but most important can also, due to the 3D capabilities that holography offers, can identify what's being carried across the borders. This becomes very important for the safety of the border guards and our national guard along the borders because they'll be able to identify the types of weapons that they're carrying, mm -hmm. uh, including um, uh, weaponry that could be extremely powerful. Now, Jim, which agencies currently use Life Vision? Currently, we're working with two government agencies. We're working with the Department of Defense and the U.S. Army, and we're working with the Department of Homeland Security. At this year's Super Bowl 40. We had our technology installed in our command vehicle, and the primary application was for th crowd control and three-dimensional three -dimensional facial recognition. Very good. Now, what are the most life-threatening situations that life vision can help mitigate? Weapons detection, of course. As John had mentioned, one of the things that spatial information can give you in real time is the differentiation of the weapon. Is it a weapon or is it a rake? Is it a mm -hmm. person carrying a... a case or is it just mm -hmm. something that is non-threatening? Unfortunately, the clock tells me we're going to have to terminate this absolutely intriguing discussion.
But before doing so, I want to thank you, Jim, for your fine contribution today. Thank you very much, Al. I appreciate you being And John, as always, you're indispensable. Thank you, Al. It's great to be here. And thank you for watching. Until next time for World Business Review, I'm Alexander Hayes.